How would you define integrity? I like to say that integrity is doing what's right even when no one else is watching. Joseph is the perfect example. He was the beloved in his household. His father even gave him a tunic of many colors. But this was also the cause of jealousy. Now his brothers came up with a scheme to sell this young dreamer to Egypt. And on this caravan, Joseph found himself among strangers and he had a decision to make. He could either blame God for the circumstance he now found himself in, or he could choose to live a life of faithfulness. He could choose to believe that all things would always work out for the good of those who love God. That although God was not the one who put him in that circumstance, God, through his creative omnipotence, could deliver him. Now, as soon as Joseph arrived, he was sold to a man named Potiphar. And because when we find favor in the eyes of God, we will find it in the eyes of man, Joseph rose to power. Potiphar made him overseer of all of his possessions. But yet again, Joseph was put to the test. Potiphar's wife cast longing eyes on Joseph, and one day she grabbed him and said, sleep with me. He had a choice to make. He could sleep with her, and maybe he would have not gotten caught. Potiphar wasn't home. The servants were nowhere to be found. His family thought he was dead anyways. What did he have to lose? But you see, Joseph decided to live for an audience of one. The same will happen in our life. When we decide that we are going to live for God and not for people, only then will we be able to live as Joseph lived, to live a life of integrity. My prayer is that we will say, as Joseph said in response to that woman, how can I do this great wickedness in the eyes of my God?